Well, good afternoon, everyone. It's Brad and Robert again with our Clarity Clip of the Week. We're out enjoying the Texas weather one more time in downtown Dallas, if you hear some noise going around behind us. So we're out enjoying the weather. We've been talking a lot about what's happening online in your social and stuff, but you recently went to a DFW SEM where they talked more about what you're doing online with your website, your Google, how your search results you know, kind of illustrate what you're doing. And one of the key things that we always try to talk about is that first impression. We talk about first impressions in general, like, uh, you know, what, what's the first impression you're doing when you go meet someone, how you're dressed, all that stuff. It's critical now online that you're spending time thinking about the first impression you're leaving with your potential clients or future customers. And some of that stuff you learned a little bit the other day about DF, at DFW SEM. So if you're a bricks and mortar business, if you have a physical location, the first impression of your business is going to be in Google search when somebody looks for you. And it's up in that right hand corner. It's called. Google My Business, now we're showing you here A1 affordable garage door openers. We know them and we know they do it right. But we were all really lucky to hear from Joy Hawkins out of Toronto, who's one of the top experts in this part of the world on Google My Business. And here's what she has to say. Yeah, so a lot of businesses either don't know about it or don't pay attention to it. And what usually they find out it's too late. So a lot of things we hear about with reviews, for example, as you know, someone will research Bob's plumbing, and then all of a sudden see you know, a bunch of negative reviews on Google that the business owner wasn't even aware of. If they had verified their listing through Google My Business, Google would actually alert them every time that they get a new review, so they would actually be aware of what people are saying online about their business. Um, and also, you know, make sure that people get driving directions to your office, that they're accurate, um, and that obviously the things that they're seeing about your business are what you want them to see. Um, it's always a good idea to have lots of positive reviews and lots of pictures. Um, not leave it to the users to decide what's out there. So one of the second points you heard too when you went to this DFW SEM seminar was something about verification. What does that mean? Google verification? Well, as she just explained, you know, that's important to go claim okay. your Google My Business or a competitor or somebody up to no good can hijack your Google My Business. So let's put that in perspective. Let's say you have Robert Brick and Mortar A yes. and I'm Brad Brick and Mortar B and you haven't verified your business, right. I could go verify it and basically take that business? You Not only that, she's going to explain here how spammers can go in and oh. change the phone number to their number so that anybody looking for you is going to them and then they might call you up and try to sell leads back to you. Wow. Here she is. Yeah, so unfortunately, it's Google Maps, because it's kind of crowdsourced, um, users can submit edits to Google Maps and they can um, do things maliciously, unfortunately. So a lot of times the spammers out there actually know more about how Google works than the legitimate businesses do. So we see a lot of fake listings that get created. Um, you know, if you've got like a plumber that wants to rank everywhere around Dallas, they would create, you know, 15 different listings, one for each zip code. And um, even though they're not listed there, and then try and rank, uh, outrank the real businesses that are in the area. Um, so that's a common abuse. And then also to take it to an even further extreme, we've also seen like businesses actually hijack listings for real businesses that are ignoring their listings by either changing the phone number on it or actually updating the website on the listing to go to their website instead of the, the actual business. All right, so we've been talking about this Google My Business, this verification process uh, the other night from DFW SEM. What is kind of the take home message that you heard and what's important for a person out there that owns a small business or a brick and mortar to think about when they're looking at all this stuff? As soon as you f finish watching this video, go claim your Google My Business. Okay. And we're going to let uh, Joy close this out with the big takeaway and her advice and that's the Clarity Clip of the Week. If you haven't done so, I would go to google.com slash business and make sure your listing is verified and then also do a couple brand searches on Google to make sure you know what actually pulls up when people are searching your brand. Um, and check to make sure you know driving directions on Google Maps are accurate and routing people to the right place.